My mission is to show people how to cook authentic Indian food and take the mystery out of cooking a curry. My style of cooking is a Punjabi style of cooking. It's very rustic, not too spicy, and very tasty. I understand that you guys are going off to university and you don't have many cooking skills. So I'm going to show you how to cook a curry. Are you up for the challenge, boys? Yeah, definitely. My cooking skills are limited. I'm more out right with desserts, so I've never really tried much else. But uh, I like the idea of cooking. I cook breakfast, really. I do scrambled eggs, fried eggs, you know, the works. And I do a bit of pasta um, occasionally, but other than that, nothing else. The university is beans on toast every day. I just, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Biggest challenge cooking wise would be funding, money. It's it's limited budget. Yeah, I think if I had the skills to cook something um, more intricate and fancy than most things, it would be very useful. The best way to make Indian food economical is to buy in bulk. So when you're sharing a house, you can then go shopping and buy huge bags of rice onions, which when you cook them, the portions will come out at about 10p a portion. And chicken, you can get 10 pieces of legs and thighs for three pounds. Now, if you're not a meat eater, you can use tins of chickpeas. You can get four for a pound, so 10p a portion as well. Well, today I'm gonna to cook with minced lamb. This is very cheap. You can get it for about two pounds 70 for a 500 gram pack. It'll work out at about 60, 70 p a portion. Fantastic. Great. Jerry, what do you think that is? An onion. Well done. <laughs> and this here, what do you think these are? Coriander. Coriander, very, very good. good. Ollie, what do you think those are? Peppers. Green chilies. Green chilies. So nearly there. And this lovely. Have a smell. <laughs> I'm cooking with that later on. I know so. the smell. I know the smell. Ginger. Correct! Ooh, Gosh, nice. I'm oh, very nice. impressed, I'm very <laughs> impressed. Oh, right, so those form the basis of the sauce that we're going to cook, which I call the masala. But to flavour it, I'm going to use various spices. Just have a sniff and see what you think it is. It smells like curry. <laughs> Do you think you should taste it? I'm scared to taste it. Okay, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> red, red is dangerous. So that was a red chilli powder. The next thing I'm going to show you is this one. It's like pilau rice. That's yes, we like, use yeah. a lot of that in pilau rice. It's yeah. garam masala. Okay, that one. Yeah, it's more like curry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I really, I'm really bad with spices. Come on, Ben. No idea. <laughs> well, believe it or not, these are coriander seeds. So the seeds of that plant ground up and they give a lovely taste to the, the curry, okay? And this is another essential one. <laughs> Same as the other one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's it's turmeric, turmeric. And to balance all the flavours, we use this. I'm going to say salt. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's salt. Well done. Right, let's get cooking. Pink one, Ollie. Pink ball. And be careful with the knives now. Joey, I'd like you to do the ginger and the garlic. Sure. That peeled and sliced, please. Right, you. Are your hands clean? Yeah. All right, get chopping then. Top and tail it. Then, no, no, then you split it down the middle in half. Slice the top off and break it. Then you take one clove. You have to peel the skin off. That's all you need to do. Right, and then the other end then. Then cut it, slice it. Oh, oh, that's dangerous. Sorry, Hang on. Sorry. No. It's not causing mischief. Yeah, that's it. Slice down and away from you. That's that it. That that yes, that's. <laughs> We're done. Well done. So now I'm going to show you how to prepare the curry base, which is what people go out and buy in a jar, but it's much tastier, much cheaper if you make your own. Okay. So you need about six to seven tablespoons of olive oil. You can use rapeseed oil or even vegetable oil. Okay, slice the onions into the oil, like so. The idea is to get this cooking on a high heat 
Then once it starts cooking, I'm going to turn the heat down and let it simmer on a low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm going to put the, the cloves of garlic that you peeled for me in there as well. So once it starts bubbling a bit more, I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, so now the onions are ready to put in the spices. So, Ollie, a teaspoon of the red chilli powder, that's great. A quarter of a teaspoon of the turmeric powder. Okay, one of the garam masala, lovely. Let's give it a little stir. And then uh, one of the salt. And three of the coriander powder. Okay, that's great. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And to this, we're now going to grate some ginger, just like a, a cubic centimetre of that. In it goes. Okay, and to finish it all off, I'd like Joey to put in the um, tomatoes for me, which add the colour. Sure. Okay, there we go. Thanks. Okay. So there you have the masala. So now this, as you can see, is a paste now. See that, boys? Um, I'm going to add the mints. Okay. It smells amazing. And basically, you get it cooking on a high heat, and then you let it simmer on a low heat for about 20 minutes. Right. And so now the mince is ready to be browned off on a high heat. Add the peas. And with the peas. Pretty. And now you add a bit of water to form a gravy and then you sprinkle it with some fresh coriander. And there you have it, kima matter, which means mince with peas. Do you think that's easy or yeah. what do you think? Yeah, yeah the step by step process really makes it easy. There are not many steps are the there. The hardest thing was definitely peeling the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to try some, boys? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Can you eat it now, Joey? Fantastic. Okay. How was it? So good. Not too spicy for you, Joey. No, not at all. So, do you think you might make this? Yeah, it's pretty simple. I think I probably will. Kima mutter, a cheap, economical, nutritious meal for you to make when you're all students. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Love it. You're welcome.